a uh, very damp morning since the last time we were here uh, we've had 25 mils of rain which is absolutely perfect for what these crops were needing as you can see now we have the ears out uh, Owens out, everything's looking nice and clean there and we're into the sort of grain fill period so we've had enough moisture into the roots there and we're starting to move into the period where the grains are really flowered and they've set grain nicely from top to bottom I'm counting on most spring barleys I'm seeing everywhere counting sort of 24 to 26 grain sites all very well flowered and starting to fill there you can see now as I squirt that they're, they're coming into they're starting to fill and what they require now is sunshine we've got the green leaf area we've got the plant population and we've got the we're just looking for sunshine the nice clean leaves as well which is good so they can absorb all that sunlight when we get it which we're forecast for next week what we're seeing now in the trials is we're seeing um, a lot of differences in maturity you've seen just we monitored the way they come out into own and then the speed of the ear emergence after that we've got a variety over there uh, firefox which i've got in my hand here and you can see just different to the laureate and between the Laureate and Diablo here, the, the Firefox, just that little bit more sort of the endosperm development there. And it's really, really sort of starting to fill a lot better. So that shows the maturity of it. And some of the some of my colleagues in other parts of the UK, uh, sorry, other parts of the trading area, are seeing that noticeable difference with uh, Firefox and some of the other varieties that they're starting to really fill up there. So expect at the minute, probably an early harvest, but there's a, lot, a long way to go yet. Um... The varieties are we've been monitoring them quite a bit because as i've highlighted we've sort of tried to work this on a bit more of a sustainability regen side of things so we've had cover we're following these cover crops and we've been monitoring the leaf uh, nitrogens in them and stuff like that and we're seeing in here where we had a very big biomass cover crop we're starting to see as the crop's gone on there's been a lot more nitrogens coming into the leaf so it'll be interesting to see how that develops into the ear later on we'll do grain samples when we come to harvest them obviously to see see how that's worked so like i say it's been a very in this part of the world a very very dry growing season and it's uh impacted in some areas yep you can see the sort of heavier cloddy areas further down the, the plots there where the plant population isn't as good as what we wanted but now that we've got the rain like i say we've had the rain into the roots and we're into the grain fill period hopefully we'll end up with some sensible yields on these spring barleys this year um, next time we're down we'll come down in a couple of weeks time We'll come down with Paul and Laura and we'll maybe have a bit more in-depth in look at the actual specific varieties because, like I say, I'm between Laureate and Diablo here, which are two main distilling varieties, and but we've got a lot of candid varieties and newer varieties are coming into the into the free as well. So, well, maybe next time we're down, as we see the crops mature a bit more, we'll have a little bit more look at the varieties.